I was going to date Lois. Lois. Kenny Rice Dwayne. Where Dwayne Jasper? We have the Netflix series that was all so scary for adult James. By the albums out. The Netflix series now. Oh man. As far as like the movies and everything, they kind of suck. Yeah, they have their gems. They have a little bit, but, but like they, not a lot. Yeah. Right now, it's like it's kind of. It's, it's kind of dry season, especially skimpy. for horror. Yeah. Right now on Netflix. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. If you guys have any reaction requests, please follow our social media and the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, let's dive on in. May twenty second. Publish. Uh, a 23 minute long movie review about an 80s puppet movie sure is different than the content I usually post. And even though it was a lot of work, it was fun to try something new and I think the video turned out pretty good. Am I right, Chamberlain Funko Pop? That's a scary one. Well, it's a good thing I'll never, ever have to worry about this franchise ever again. Oh, really? Are you sure about that? Exactly. <laughs> a review about a cult classic puppet movie that came out 35 years ago? The last thing I was expecting was that said franchise would get a reboot announced two weeks after I posted. And every single day since then, people have been yeah. tweeting at me yeah. saying, Hey James, did you know Netflix is making uh -huh. the Dark Crystal series? Yes. Yes, I know. And then another one. Do you know one. who you're talking to? If you don't know what the <laughs> heck I'm talking about, then I recommend you watch my video, The Movie That Was Too Scary for Baby James. In that video, mm -hmm. I reviewed a scary kids movie called The Dark Crystal. The movie was more or less a passion project of Jim Henson, the creator of The Muppets, and so this no. movie was done entirely with puppets. It came out before I was born, but I still somehow watched it and got scarred for life. <laughs> In my review, I said some good things about the movie, like I thought it was a very creative and artistic film, but I uh, also said some negative things about it, too. Oh. As YouTubers, sometimes we forget that our videos are public and can be viewed by anyone. And when we talk about companies, we can Shot. forget that real people are attached to those properties to those who have poured hundreds of hours into these projects. Yeah. And there's a chance they'll see our videos. Huh. And unbeknownst yep. to me, Lisa Henson, current CEO Contact of the Henson you? Company, saw my video. Oh, no. And for some reason, I never considered that was ever going to happen. Oh, no. If I had known that Lisa freaking Henson was going to watch my video, I probably would have worded a few things differently. I don't think she was too mad at my video, though, because she invited me to tour the Henson office, oh. and I got to see a real-life Skeksis puppet, which resurfaced an unhealthy amount of repressed <laughs> memories, and I got to meet some of the puppeteers, which was a whole That's lot of fun. Cool. Also, before Age of Resistance was released, I got contacted by Netflix, and they invited me and some other Dark Crystal fans Ooh. to an early screening of the Ooh. first two episodes, mm. and I signed a non-disclosure agreement so I couldn't spoil anything. Mm -hmm. I don't remember when that NDA said I was allowed to talk about it again, but hopefully I'm in the uh. clear. When I was in the early screening, I just remember thinking about how cool that these characters in this world were back on the big screen. Cool. Netflix has a pretty big screen. And the puppetry mm -hmm. and cinematography have only gotten better. Oh, and the boy. fact oh that 95% of everything is done with practical already. effects and puppets, it's, it's beautiful. There's not a single human in this series, except in episode 10 when this puppeteer's head can be seen for a couple frames. <laughs> um, I no. just checked oh. and they actually took it out, so... I still saw it. <laughs> so much time and care <laughs> and hard work was put into this series that there was a documentary made about how hard it was to make this series. If any of you are wondering, no, Rayunip does not make an appearance in Age of Resistance, nor is there a naked baby gen puppet. <laughs> so if you're worried that the show wasn't right. going to be as dark and scary as the original, don't worry. It's darker and scarier than the original. Mm. The Netflix family Twitter account was nice enough to timestamp every scary part in the series. Oh, really? And as you can see, stuff goes down in episode For 10. Parents Surprisingly, of though, they didn't okay. blacklist the scene of the Skeksis peeing out of three different pee mm. streams in episode 6 at 28 minutes and 41 seconds. It really makes you think. So, artistically, this series is beautiful. I'm sorry, the way that that well look, because it's left open. Look like it's supposed to be in another type of movie, okay? Uh, With some axes on it. <laughs> like, that, um, uh, yeah, it, it looked very uncomfortable the way that his face was looking when he did it. Yo, I don't know how, how to, so how, I, my thing is not even what he did, how they do it. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's the question is how. Like how those things are reminds me of like uh, the movie um, Where the Wild Things Are. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a story that I grew up like listening to and then like, yeah. I saw like the movie and I was scared to 
Yeah. I want to oh, watch it now. I want to watch it so. now to get our opinion on it. I'm, I'm, we're going to check it out. We got to check it out now. For season two, and I want a season two to get greenlit. I'm not going to do a plot it's summary of the whole thing like Everything I did in the does. first review because I don't want this video to be an hour long, and you should watch it for yourself. I'm not just going to do everything for you. I'm not your mom. But there are some things you should know before you go watching the series. This is kind of spoilery, but... I won't spoil that much. Uh, so this alien planet is home to these creatures called Gelflings. Okay. They share memories with each other by holding hands, and oh. the girl Gelflings have wings. There's also this other creature called Agura, who's been around since the beginning of the world. Okay. She's basically Yoda's sassy grandma. And then out of okay. nowhere, these tree aliens visit. Stay with me here. <laughs> and like, they crack this very important crystal, and in doing so, they split into two different creatures. Their goodness becomes this thing called a mystic, who are dumb, and their bad side become these cool <laughs> bird monsters called smart. Skeksis. Yeah. And then the Skeksis took over the entire world, so whoops. None of this is explained in the original movie. What? It's not explained in the series until episode 7, but I think that the tree alien backstory should have started the series. Which is why I just spoiled it for you. The original 90-minute film already had so much lore, and this new Netflix reboot just added even more lore? Mm -hmm. There's even a character named Lore? How much lore is what? there? Speaking of names, there are a lot of made-up words in this series, Love and them. sometimes those made-up <laughs> words are hard to remember. Within the first minute of Age of Resistance, the narrator tells us that there are seven, seven clans, clans of Skeletor, but then only names three, because there are only yeah. three important ones that we should care about. I don't okay. even know the names okay. of the other four clans, and I'm like a dark crystal official you know, oh, so there are like, like 10 evil pillow. bird monsters, all with names like Skexo, Skexil, Skektek, and Shrek. Granted, <laughs> most of the time they go by their more common names like Chamberlain or the Emperor, but gosh dang. Oh Dang it, I can't even remember some of those names. That's the pussy one, and Ugh. that's the one that made that weird face in the original movie, and that's the one whose voice does not sound like a Skeksis at all. No. <clears throat> what vexes you, child? Another thing you should know is it that I thought this series me. was pretty slow. Maybe it's because I'm impatient, or I'm used to watching YouTube videos at two times speeds exclusively, but do you remember in the original movie how there was a scene where the Skeksis ate dinner for two whole minutes, and visually it was amazing, but the whole time you're thinking, Can you speed yeah, up? Yeah, I get it. Well, there are a lot of scenes like that in the series. Let's take the beginning of episode two, for example. It starts with a character we've never seen before waking up and putting on his shoes okay. and making porridge. This just looks disgusting. Spilling the porridge yeah. on his shirt and brushing his hair <laughs> and roughing it up <laughs> and grabbing his cleaning supplies. And it's just a whole minute of this unnamed character getting ready for his day. It's just so poor. Just cut it, please. And it wouldn't be that bad if this was the only example. But trust me, there are plenty of examples. I just don't want to spoil any of them for you. Turning a 90-minute movie into a nine-hour TV series, you're going to have some filler or some scenes that don't necessarily drive the plot. I get that. Luckily, I found this Chrome plugin that lets you watch <laughs> Netflix at two times speed, so... It's all good. Making this video has got me thinking about prequels and how tricky they are to do right. In the original mm -hmm. movie, there are only two Gelflings left in the entire world. So a prequel that sets up a world with seven different Gelfling clans, we as an audience know that something's gonna happen, and it ain't that. gonna look good for the Gelfling. The series <laughs> also added this MacGuffin Halo Sword looking thing that was supposed to save the world, but the whole time watching that, I kept thinking... No, that's not how the world is saved. The world's not saved until 1982. Also, there are certain characters that we know can't thing. die because they're in the that original movie. Exists. But boy, yeah. does this show make you think some OG characters are going to die. It almost so. makes me wish that the writers used the 80s Dark Crystal movie as inspiration and rebooted the series in its own separate universe. Movie reviewers tend to focus a lot on the negatives, mm. and yeah. I don't want to come off as a hater because I really do. do enjoy this series, and I want a season two to get made. So let's end this video with some of the things Hi. I liked about this series. I like that we got to see the Skeksis with more personality because they were always so over-the-top evil. The Hunter Skeksis was just on a whole new level of cool. All the other Skeksis never came across as threatening. Like, like look how slow they walk. I could beat them up. But the Hunter Skeksis, oh man, he was, he was awesome. Do you, do you think he'll be my friend? I like that the series didn't tone down the darkness, and if anything, they amplified oh, it. Because everyone like me should have a deep-seated fear of puppets. There are some great nods like, to the I original Dark Crystal. Like when the Emperor Skeksis says, I will, will never, never. Peace.
Dust! Ah! Well, we all know that's the very first thing he does in the original movie. Mm. Celadon is a piece of garbage and does not deserve a redemption arc. The voice acting is amazing. There are a lot like of talented it. people voicing these characters. Like Luke Skywalker, a YouTuber oh. named Barnaby Dixon, who made these very cool Mantis finger puppets, got to work on a scene where the puppets put on a mini puppet show. And that was everything oh. I liked about Dark okay. Crystal Age of Resistance. Ooh. So, in conclusion, if you have nine hours of free time, download the Video Speed Controller plugin, set that bad boy to two, and save yourself <laughs> four and a half hours. Too. But do watch Age of Resistance. Also, executives, if you still need someone to play Rayonip, uh. hello. <laughs> hey. Or give him his own show, you know. Uh, I was show. Yeah, if Netflix is, is contacting an animator that does animations, I would think that you would probably want to make an animated you show. Would, you would think that, right? Like, you, I, 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 you, sure. got, you guys should do it right here. This is your crew, okay? Just get, hire other people to help them out with, like, you know, shading and the colors and stuff like that. But, like, give them a show. Yeah, just like, give, yeah, y'all giving everybody else a show. Y'all yeah, might as well do it. Why, why not? Everything right? else has a show. You're right. Okay. You are right. We got to check out the Dark Crystals. It looks like, it the, looks I was going to say when scary, I was looking though. at it, yeah. it kind of reminded me of like those monsters that you fight in like uh, Power Rangers. Like, oh, I yeah. think like Power Rangers going to come down in the yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, transform right. and everything. So yeah, that's I what got I was you. thinking of. We got to check that out because I, I was lost in the video. I was like, huh. Hmm, but it's, he said dark, and you definitely like dark stuff. I like dark stuff, but that P and C kind of got me a little bit. I was like, hold on, that kind of just scarred me a little. You kind of could have just blurred that out a little bit. Like, you could have just been like the P and C and like just mm. have like a little pixelization or yeah. whatever, because that kind of sure. scarred me a little bit in my brain right now. For I got sure. more sponge Okay, balls. earlier we was talking about, you got a little bit on you. Okay, I got it. That's fine. Earlier we was talking about Netflix having like more, like better horror show, horror yeah. movies. Cause I remember when I first got on there, they had like other stuff, but I learned a lot. I got a lot of harm. Like I we watched a lot. V eight, we did watch a lot. So, they had some good ones though. Yeah. Like now I think they're lacking in that horror section. Mm -hmm. Like really, they are. Yeah. But like I remember, uh, and I showed you VHS. And that was good. And VHS two. That was. Took it up a notch. That was good. Too. That was like, like, and those are those are mature. I would say, though, we those watched, are mature. We watched very very scary. Like it was on some other stuff. You guys yeah, gonna like watch me, those? Like a palate cleanser. After. Yeah. Like. Oh, yes, sir. And then Jasmine been having weird dreams. Yeah. Lately, I've been having dreams about whatever I'm looking at or doing. Like maybe ten minutes prior to me falling asleep. So if I'm watching American Horror Story, oh. like ten minutes before, I'm dreaming about it. If I'm playing Fortnite. I'm having a Fortnite theme world in my dream. <laughs> like so, I'm like, this has I don't to know stop. what's been happening. It's been happening for like six days now. I don't know what's going it has on. To stop. But now I have to like put on like SpongeBob or something that's like light and mm -hmm. good yeah. before I go to sleep. Yeah. Not that Fortnite's bad, but I didn't know how my mind just made the whole world Fortnite, but made the houses still the same. Like it was like our house, but like outside was like Fortnite. Like I don't know. It was like we got Pleasant Park, but like with different we gotta houses. Help you out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, comment below. Let's <laughs> go. Don't forget to like. Let's go. Let's just some more.